place of a coward. This is what the crowd comes to see. A tough, hard fought contest, but one that's within the rules. And that's what we have apparently set right now. Both of these two men, we don't the fans don't come to see that garbage, that eye gouge, interference from the outside. The fans don't come to see people dancing around in the ring and pink tights fathers coming out of the ringside and interfering from the outside. They come to see tough, hard nose, grind it out wrestling. And that's exactly what we're going to get right now. These two men just feeling each other right out right now. Boy, it's going to take a lot to wear either one of these men down. Such power and strength in the middle of this ring right now. Both of these men, right or almost right around at that 300 pound mark. And all of it muscle. And I don't think there's a, 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 a 10 ounces of body fat between these, these two wrestlers. Just in the feeling out process right now. How do you even just think of the hours in the gym that it takes to get the physique of either one of these men? Hard work and the effort that both of these men have put into their bodies and put into this business. Boy, this, this matchup right now being held at the Sports Connection for Men American Wrestling, in my eyes, this is a, a caliber of matchup that in a few years we could very well be seeing at a main event of a WrestleMania. And Rashi being very bold here, allowing Venom just to put that Phil Nelson right on him. Rashi wants to see if he can power out, and he does. What power being shown by both men. Rashi just powering out of that maneuver. I can't recall if that's ever done, done before. Just someone powering out of a full Nelson by Mike by Venom. Now a test of strength between these two combatants. Here. Venom. Oh, it's a stalemate right now. Oh, it goes through the ropes. Referee Scotty DeMarc, who just disposed of that uh, very enigmatic character, KM Ultra, that eccentric nut who always seems to find his way to the Mid American ring. And least opportune time. Scotty just disposed of Cam Ultra like a bag of garbage. If there's any referee that you want for a matchup of this caliber, it's Scotty DeMarc, the senior official of Mid American Wrestling. Rashi just tosses that on in. Shoulder block, nobody goes anywhere. Again. The unstoppable force meeting the immovable object. It's like it's like a semi driving into a brick wall. Oh, then a flying shoulder tackle. Very impressive maneuver by Venom, leaving his feet 
for such a big man to have such high flying agility, that really adds a, a whole new dimension to his offense. Rashi seemed a little stunned by that. Again, these two these two big bulls locking horns. Then him firing in with those right hands. Rashi just runs him over with that, that big shoulder. Now Venom sees on, seems on the defensive. Big clothesline. Both of these men, their clothesline seemingly having no effect. Venom, this impressive belly to belly suplex on Rashi Brown, the skull crusher. Follows it up with a stomp. Big elbow. Boy, the Venom finally getting somewhat of an advantage in this contest. Oh, beautiful back suplex. Just spikes Rashi to that canvas. Rashi, he's taking some, a little bit of a breather on the outside. Boy, the Venom follows him out, follows him out. And this matchup that was once uh, thought to be a clean inside the ring contest is now spilled to the outside. Rashi sends Venom to the post and Venom hit hard. Now, Venom just lying there amongst our, our great fans here at the Sports Connection. Skull Crusher doing the smart thing and apparently just heading back into the ring. Skull Crusher knows that the only way that either one of these men is going to score a pinfall is right in the middle of that ring. We've seen enough outside interference. We've seen enough battling outside throughout the building. Let's settle this one in the ring. Oh, stiff. Forearms. Two of them. A third by Rashi Brown, the Skull Crusher. And that, that stiff shot alone would put away most men. Clubbing blows. Both of these two men, to me, represent what Mid-American Wrestling is all about. Both of these men, su such important parts of Mid-American over the last couple of years. And, and for either one of these men, it's not going to stop at Mid-American Wrestling, in my opinion. Both of these men are headed for national recognition. Venom already training with Harley Race. Skull Crusher, like Venom, has extent toured extensively in Japan. Skull Crusher recently working several dark matches for the WWE. And don't be surprised to see him called up anytime, anytime soon. Skull Crusher recently appearing on SmackDown against Paul Burchill. Just stiff shots again. This is spilled to the outside. Venom, thinking better of it, wants to settle it in the ring. And I applaud him for that. And this crowd seems to appreciate that as well. They want, they don't, they want to see the clear-cut winner.